Okay guys, we're going to do a quick install of the 4C mirror here. I'm going to try to do it under 5 minutes. Should be pretty easy. When you get your new mirrors, um, they'll come just pre-assembled like this. With the Italian flag is actually going to be just um, taped in place for right now. Um, so you can decide whether or not to put it on yourself. Um, it has 3M tape on the back side that you'll just peel off and stick on. Um, we got our caps here that you can pry off and snap back into place. We have our single cable to plug into the car, a seal, water seal around the perimeter put back on as well as around the cables. And that's the same for both units. So let's get into it. First, we're going to take the mirror, pry it sideways, and you'll see a little divot right here on the end. You can stick a tool in there or pry it off with your hands. They're usually not that difficult um, to break to, pick, um, to pry off. Once you get that guy off, we have our cable inside here with a little clip press down on that and remove that guy from there you see we have one two and three bolts I only have two in right now because I only need two for the new set um, so just to make it a little faster I didn't put in the third third bolt once you get all three bolts loose Set the bolts aside, and the mirror should just come right off. Now to install the new mirror, same operation. First we're going to reinstall the cable clip here. It just snaps in. Push uh, the new connector back into the hole. So it doesn't get in the way and you can kind of find a little spot in there where it kind of sits in place all right first we need to take off the cap um, so that we can put the two new screws back in So once you got the uh, the new cap in place, you kind of see we got um, two holes here now instead of three to make it a little easier. And it doesn't need all three bolts. Um, the mirror now weighs half as much, so the bolting capacity is not necessary. One important note is to remove the washers off of your bolts because um, the new the washers are quite large and don't fit in the new assembly Now remember when tightening these bolts down here, I would not over tighten them. You could easily crack the carbon um, and you don't need to put them in that type. You just need to be snug, snug enough to when you 
moving the mirror around it doesn't go anywhere they don't need to over tighten them you don't want to break your new mirrors so they don't need that much um, much pressure to keep in place now you just take your cap put your cap back in Once the cap's back in, um, I'm also going to include a 3M tape behind the cap in case the caps are too loose. Some of them are really tight, some of them are more on the loose side and it's just very hard to control um, from mirror to mirror. Um, more importantly, they need to fit properly. So I'm going to include a little bit of 3M tape. You only need a small strip, hold it in place. And from there, um, you can decide whether or not you want the Italian flag. You can take it on, take it off, and that's it. We are complete.